Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video is in honour of the purple lipstick. We are doing our 50 shades of purple first update. Um, this lipstick, by the way, is not the one that is in my 50 shades of purple. It is a sample that I'm trying to work, uh, finish up. So, um, I do have a purple lipstick in, but I haven't used it because I'm trying to use the sample up. Uh, so let's get into this. This is a Fantastic Ladies collaboration. Uh, last year they did 50 shades of pink. This year they're doing 50 shades of purple. Uh, last year I didn't think I had enough pink things to take part. Uh, this year I realised that there's a lot more things in these colours than you imagine them to be and so yeah I was able to take part in 50 shades of purple. So first update what have I been uh, working on? Now last month in the intro I went through all 50 products that I was putting into this project pan and yes that was 50 products, <laughs> um, hence the 50 shades. Um, but this time I'm only going to talk about the few uh, products that I've been working on and have progress on. So each update I'm not going to tell you all 50 products. I'm just going to tell you the ones that I have um, some, some usage on. Um, so uh, I will link all the information for this project pan in the description box down below so please do check that out if you are interested. Um, so let's start off with uh, the items. I broke my items up into three different categories. We had completely use up, we had hit pan and we had five uses. Ooh, why does my finger not want to do that? Uh, five uses. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have three different categories of these items. So in the use up item, oh, I forgot my shower gel. Bear with me okay. one moment. I'm back, slightly out of breath. Um, okay, so um, for the first item, I had this amazing Imperial Leather um, Fijian Water and Lotus Flower Shower Gel. I know it's upside down. I don't like sitting them with the lids down because I'm always worried they're gonna <sniffs> um but yeah as you can see we are down to here I will mark this um after I finished or what I might do actually is take a picture because this sits on the side of my bath and I don't want like the markings might rub off because of the water and soap um, so what I might do is take a picture of this and then we'll have a picture sort of progress updates. Um, but yeah, I have definitely used some of this and it is down to there. So yeah, I really like the smell of this. Um, I like the Imperial leather shower gels, um, but like it's to wash my body with. I don't... I don't really care as long as I don't end up with dry skin afterwards I'm fine so yeah using that one uh, the next item um, is my oh I'm not gonna run into the bathroom again for it I'm just gonna tell you about it it's my Dr. Suticles pumice foot scrub uh, I used it once um, it was a bit of a hassle because you have to wash it off after you've used it. So because I don't have a shower, there was a bit of a, uh, it was so annoying. So I got in the bath, got out of the bath, washed my hair over the bath, then stood back in the bath, stood, not sat, um, because I, uh, hair in the bath, no. Um, so stood in the bath, then put the foot scrub on, then washed my feet again, and then got out of the bath. So I was in and out of the bath <laughs> too many times. It was such a hassle. So I think what I'm going to do is see if I can pick up a cheap washing up bowl and then fill that with some soapy water. And then, um, and then I'll do it over that. Um, it does mean that my chances of using it are not going to be often but as long as I use it once a month that I'd, I'd be happy I'd be happy if I just use it once a month and I've used it this month I'm happy so that's that item 
Uh, the next item is something that I think I might have finished by next month and that is the Superdrug Vitamin E uh, SPF 15 Moisturising Day Cream. It looks like this. We are now down to here. I'm not going to bother marking it because I really do think I'll have this finished by next month so there's no point in marking it. Um, it was alright. It's a rather uh, thin consistency and um, it melted into my skin really easily. I throw this on um, after I've had a bath because I do suffer with very itchy, dry skin after a bath. Um, so I go all over the body with this. That's why I used it up, um, half of it up so quickly. Um, go all over the body with this and then, um, yeah, defense the skin against environmental damage and high in antioxidants, antioxidants rich in natural vitamin E skin for normal to dry skin. So yeah, um, I used half of this up. The weight last month uh, was 61.37 and it now weighs 37.05. So that's why I think I will have this used up by the next month because I used up like 24 25 uh, grams of this so i can't imagine that there's a lot left in there um a couple of baths and that'll be done so yeah that's that item the next item um i kind of wanted to speak about this item in conjunction with another item um and that the first item is my a new clinical lift and firm face lifting cream with polypeptide x i get this from avon or i got this from avon uh it's just a white cream and you're gonna think wow nicola you went through that so fast and i and i did um so number five, it weighed 143.7 grams and now weighs 135.76 grams. And the reason why is because I am mixing it with this and I'm putting it <clears throat> into a little pot like this. So this is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Um, and this one uh, weighed 115.76 last month and now weighs 111.63. And that's because I combined these two and I created like a tinted moisturizer. It also has a bit of another foundation in, which is a bit of a darker color um because um it's too dark for my skin so um yeah i just used it in there as well uh so yeah a lot of that cream is in here and um i'm currently using this as my foundation um it's not too heavy on the skin so when we have a warm day i don't feel like i've got a layer of foundation on my skin it's just you know like moisturizer um so that's where all of that weight has come from um in these two products um i will show you as well if i peel back some of the packaging so that's where we started last month and we are now down to here with the foundation so um i will keep weighing these two um okay. <clears throat> but not this particular item and that's because once I've used this up I will mix these again and um, and and that's where the weight will come from um, and I'll just keep using this on a daily basis so that is those two items okay my next item uh, is my Ursula Cherry Lip Balm, my girl Ursula. I have been using this most nights. Um, not that you could tell because there's no dip forming as of yet. And the weight has gone from 23.98 to 23.76. Uh, 75, sorry. So there has been some usage, but not too much. The next item is my I Heart Revolution Mermaid Splash Fragrance Body Mist. And last month we were at this black line and now we are to the bottom of this yellow line here. Um, 
I love the smell of this. It is coconutty. My husband hates coconut, um, but you know, he'll learn to live with it. Um, it's really nice. I am planning to use all of this up. Um, I reckon it's going to take me another couple of months though at the rate that I'm using this. So yeah, this should be here for a while. And this weighed last month 95.34 and now weighs 81.70. So that's that item. Um, okay, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray Mist. This is just the travel size. Last month, this weighed um, number eight, fifty-eight point nine one, and now weighs fifty-two point two one. I do like the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray, um, and I like the misters on them. What I don't understand is why does it have like a double lid? Can anybody explain that to me? Like, why does it need a double lid? Like, surely that's just—is it just for like? because it's travel maybe like extra protection i don't know can somebody explain to me why the travel one has double double lid i just i don't i don't understand but yeah that's that one um okay so we talked about the uh foundation let's talk about the revolution conceal and hydrate concealer i do really really like this concealer um this went from 27.79 to 27.13 now i will say that because i've been using that moisturizer tinted foundation thing i haven't quite been going in with my concealer as much as i used to um so it's not going down as fast as it would normally um but i do like this concealer um and i will continue to use it okay so in the hitting pan um one now we have my revolution uh, matte base corrector kit and thank you to marie from charmed wench channel she sent me a little um like diagram to show me where all of the different color correctors go on your face <clears throat> so now i'm a little bit more uh knowledgeable about that however i have still only been concentrating on this peach shade shade um i use it under my eyes i have it on today um i really like it i just tap it out really soft and gentle under my eyes and it takes away that darkness under my eyes i really do like this um so this item uh was last month 65.71 and now weighs 65.66 not a lot of usage but um yeah it's it's a cream product so um i just put a little bit on under my eyes i'm not using it a lot so yeah that's that item no pan as of yet but um i think with with the peach shade especially because of the way that i'm using it I think that I'm quite likely that once I hit pan, I'm going to hit sizable pan because I'm swirling my finger around the whole thing uh, rather than just going in in one little space. I think it's because I'm trying to keep it out of my fingernails. So going in with just the tip of my finger, I end up getting it underneath my nails. So I'm going in with the whole pad of my finger like that. So I think that once I do hit pan, it will be sizable pan. So yeah. Uh, hopeful for that item soon and then let's go on to the usage goals um oh forgot about this pencil okay so one of the items of um usage goals is my uh rimmel kajar pencil in purple um beautiful purple eyeliner i'm wondering if i could use this as a lip liner can I do that? Because then I would get more use out of it because like like today, I feel like I could have done with a lip liner just to line my lips because um, I, just, I just feel like it needs that definition of a lip liner. Can I use an eye pencil as a lip liner? Let me know. Uh, you seem to be a knowledgeable lot. So yeah, let me know if I can. And then if I can, I might use uh, might 
switch this over to my completely use up um, category. I was debating doing that um, in the intro, but um, as an eyeliner, I only want to use it five times. But if I can use it as a lip liner, I might shift it over to my use up completely. I did only use it once though during this uh, month. So that's that item. The next item I'm really surprised at, um, and that is my Mermaid Heart Highlighter from I Heart Makeup. This was I Heart Revolution before they changed. And it is this one. And I thought, I thought to myself so many times, I'm never going to be able to use that. It's too colourful, too bright. But when you um, blend all the colours together and you put it together like that, it comes up with a really really nice uh, highlighter it's such beautiful shade so um, I have been using that all month and I have used it a total of four times one more time and I will have my first goal met in the project. So I'm very, very happy with this. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm more, more happy to use this now and think that, yeah, I, this could be something that I could eventually use up. Whereas before I was thinking, even if I do get some use out of it, it's not going to be enough that I'm ever going to use it up. Um, it will take me a long time to use these uh, hearts up. But, you know... Um, I'm glad I got four uses out of it this month. I'm so, so happy with myself. Uh, last month, this weighed 47.87 and now weighs 47.73. So it's going down. <laughs> um, and the last item that I'm going to talk about today is my Maybelline uh, Color Show uh, 60 Seconds Nail Polish. I use this as a topper because it has kind of like a like a, um, a foggy kind of back to it um it's not clear base it's kind of like a foggy can i say foggy um so this is in the shade tutti fruity and i put this over another nail polish um and yeah it, it slightly changes the color of the polish underneath it but I quite liked how it changed it, so I wasn't too um, bothered. And obviously all those glitters then shone through as well. So yeah, um, I used it once. Um, so it went from 39.15 grams to 38.99 grams. And we're just below the lid there. So that's that. So that is that. That is all of the products that I have been using in my Fifty Shades of Purple Project Pan this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!